Hello, it's John here for another tutorial and what we're going to be doing today is looking at how we can place and use decals in our world. So here we have an example of a decal and what this is is just a sort of an image that we're projecting onto our texture and that saves us the trouble of having to go right back into a texture editor like be that Photoshop or whatever and recreate that and then add that separately. So let's jump straight in and go through the tutorial and give you an example of how we do this. What we're going to do is we're going to go around to the left hand side and we're going to search for decal and we'll see this option called deferred decal. So let's just drag this into our world. We're rotating out because it likes to initially point down so you want it to make sure it's flat against your wall. So what we're going to do is create a material out of this. So we're going to right click and create material. So the name's fine, random blood material. And let's open this up and have a quick look at it. So this isn't going to create, um, this isn't going to need too much tweaking. Let's put it on a flat, not a sphere, so we can sort of see what it's like. And we have an opacity mask on this. So let's change our mode to translucent and drag our alpha to our opacity. And what we should see now is our image come up. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna to need to also change one thing. We're going to need to tell this thing that it is a decal. So what we're gonna do is click in our material and tell it it is a decal. And what will happen once this loads up is we lose a bit of that information and we want to make it a bit brighter red. So what we're going to do is create a red and by holding three and clicking. And let's set this to red. And we're going to multiply these together. So hold M, click, and grab these things together. And possibly to give it a bit of a glow, let's just throw it into the emissive color. That's looking, that's looking all right. I mean, it's got, it's lost a bit of its values because we're going into a missive, but we want it to stand out. And that's what's going to be important here. We could probably maybe add like um, another multiplier to that, make it a bit brighter if we wanted to. But for now, let's just save it and go back to our world. So now with your decal selected, we're going to go into our details panel. And we'll see an empty box where it says decal material. We're going to click in there and find our rand blood mat. And there we go, that is a decal and we can sort of move it, place it, shrink it, scale it, do whatever we want to it, transform it and get it into place. But while we've got this, I'd like to show you another benefit of this. So the cool thing about decals is they can go over multiple shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this over the wall, I mean over the floor and the bed. And what should happen is we should see it take effect over both things. Cool. And as we can see, that is taking, that is affecting both the mattress and the floor, which obviously you wouldn't be able to do with just sort of like a texture. So it's a really cool way of getting around that and adding some sort of unique and cool detail. And that looks pretty good, right? That's uh, pretty good. And what we can do is we can sort of fill up our world, really populate it, sort of make some areas unique instead of having like a lot of repeating textures. And it makes it sort of stand out. So there you have it, guys. That is a quick tutorial on how we can use decals to enhance and create your project. Thanks for watching.